put you through straight away because we're losing quite a bit of time. Sheikh, Brother Kursit from the United Arab Emirates asked a question which he wanted to answer. Uh, he's got a prostate problem. Uh, the doctors told him, he's a non-Muslim doctor, that he's got to drink six to seven litres of water a day. Uh, as you know, we're coming up to Ramadan. Uh, what does he do? What's your advice, Sheikh? Simply Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he stated in Surah Al-Baqarah that fasting has become mandatory on those who believe as it was mandatory and prescribed on those who were before them. He said, mm-hmm. So basically, if one cannot afford fasting because of old age, senility, or because he or she is sick chronically, they're not expected to heal any soon, they have a chronic illness such as diabetes, which if they fast and if they do not take the medicine and if they do not take uh, food or water or sugar during the day, they might end up in a coma, then they must break their fast and they must take the medicine. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited us from killing ourselves or causing our any harm to our own bodies and souls. لا تلقوا بأيديكم إلى التهلكة ولا تقتلوا أنفسكم إن الله كان بكم رحيما Don't you kill yourselves Indeed Allah is merciful with you Then he gave us an ease And that will not decrease your reward As long as in the past you used to fast regularly And now there is an excuse, a valid reason Then you should skip fasting And feed one miskin per each day you skip fasting Unless one day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you a cure and you're healed, in this case, you get to make up the same number of days which you skipped. So if the physician said this is a temporary illness, which hopefully in a year or two, you will be able to fast again and you will be cured after a surgery or whatever, in this condition, you will be obliged to make up the fasting which you skipped. But if fasting will cause any harm, will, will, will cause any harm to you, then you must skip fasting. And uh, it's okay to take a second opinion of a Muslim doctor. But in this condition, if the the physician is a non-Muslim and he's an honest physician and he's a a good scientist in this condition, it's also valid to take his opinion.